Now, if you have multiple alternatives in your code, right? Not only one condition, but multiple conditions. Let's say you have multiple branches where you need to check something. Let's say an earthquake on a Richter scale, if it's greater than eight, if it's between seven to 7.9. So if you only check something like if it's greater than six, then all these should apply, right? But now we want to segregate them into multiple branches. Something like this, that if it's greater than eight, do something. If it's greater than seven, but less than eight, do something. If it's greater or equal to six, but less than seven, do this, right? Or take this branch. So how do we write these in Python? So the answer is elif or else if statement, okay? So it's a short for else if. How do you write them? Something like this. So the first part is if, you check your if vector is greater or equal to eight. If it is, you come in this block. Then you say elif, elif, elif. So all your other conditions are preceded by the keyword elif. Okay. So that's that's just uh, and in the final you can just write else or uh, so if none of these conditions are true else code will be executed okay look at this code what's happening here so here you're checking if rector is greater or equal to 8 if rector is greater or equal to 7 what about if my rector is greater or equal to 6.5? Oh, sorry, uh, if my rector scale is, let's say, um, 9, which of these statements should be executed? So it's 9. Is this true? Yes, it is. So this line will be printed. Then it will come down, check this. Is this true? Yes, it is. It will be printed. Is this true? Yes, it's. So all these four, five lines, one, two, three, four lines will be printed. Okay. But we don't want that. Hence, we use elif. So elif is called a short shortcut structure. That if it's true, execute this and come down here. Like don't. So omit all of your if else conditions. Come down here. If you write ifs, standalone ifs, then it checks this condition, does this, control comes right here. Then it checks this, this condition is true, prints this, control comes down here. So it's all about control. In here, your control will ch check, it's this true? Yes, it is. It comes down, it says elif, it, say, it says, I already checked if, so I'm going to get out. So. So it checks this, comes out here, okay? So that's why that code is wrong and the file is earthquake, run it with several different inputs and see uh, it should make sense.